the wait at the tire shop was going to be a long one, so I walked over to the taco shop to get a bottle of water. The young girl at the takeout window informed me that they were all out of water, then quickly offered to get me a plastic cup filled with ice water and a straw. She offered it with a smile and refused my attempt to pay. As I headed back to the garage, the Bible's words concerning entertaining angels without knowing it, Hebrews 13.2, or sharing a cup of water, Matthew 10.42, these passages echoed in my mind. This girl had not done a kindness to an angel, but she did do it for a son of God who will judge the angels, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3. She did it for someone who could go before the throne of Almighty God and pray for her, knowing that she was being presented and advocated by one who had the power to do so. She had done it for one who could make an effort to see that the greatest gift, the gospel, would somehow find its way into her life one day. She's forgotten me, the lunch crowd, payday, new shoes, her boyfriend, school. That cup of water is long gone from her memory, but I haven't forgotten her and the blessings that I have asked the Lord to bring her will always be waiting, all for a simple cup of water.